Welcome to today's news. The news updates. May 29 inauguration. Disqualification of Tinubu from being sworn in on May 29 will not work. Ayodele says. Welcome once again and thank you for tuning in to this channel. But kindly subscribe to this channel by clicking on the subscribe button and the bell for more updates. To the news details, please listen to the end. There have been concerns about the inauguration of Bola Tinubu, the president-elect, on May 29, 2023, due to ongoing tribunals. However, Primate Elijah Ayodele, the spiritual director of the INRI Evangelical Spiritual Church, have reassured that nothing will, up, will prevent Tenumbo's swearing in. Primate Ayodele even shared his vision for Tenumbo's administration. In a TikTok video he released today, Primate Ayodele warned social media users against cherry picking his purposes to suit their agenda. He advised people to read his full purposes as some of his messages have clauses attached to them. Speaking about the tribunals, he declared that any attempt to disqualify Tinumbu and prevent his swearing in on May 29, 2023, will not work. According to Primate Ayodele, protests, laws, and the Constitution cannot stop Tinumbu from being inaugurated. However, he foresees mismanagement and misinterpretation of the law under Tinumbu's administration, which will lead to further difficulties. According to him, this qualification not to be sworn in come May 29, 2023 will not work. I don't foresee it. Protests can't stop it. I don't see any law or constitution that can prevent president-elect to be sworn in. The tribunal can't stop him, but after his swearing in, there is going to be mismanagement and misinterpretation of the law. Things will get harder under Tinumbu's administration. Pramit Ayodele will prophesize or foresee some things based on the elections, the, the, the issues going on in Nigeria. Before the election, there are some things he saw, he foresaw and said it was told by it, it was told by the Holy Spirit. And before now he actually talked that Tinumbu will win the election, but Peter will be will be having issues. It was not that straight away. So Nigerians pick up his prophecies to their own understanding. So he's, he's saying that Nigerians should not misinterpret his, his prophecies. His, act, his prophecies comes to pass, but the way it has been interpreted, interpreted is wrong. And now he's talking about Ashura Jibola Metunumbu swearing in. We all know that the different opposition parties are challenging the results in the tribunals, which the hearings are started. And also, there are some set of people, individuals, who are cl calling for the tribunal not to allow the swearing in of Tinumbu to come to pass. And despite the fact that the security, the IGP has said there are security measures on ground to make sure that there is a swift and smooth handing over, 
the permit is saying he did not see Tinubu to be disqualified. And also, he's not saying Tinubu not that he will not be sworn in May 29. He said nothing can stop Tinubu from being sworn in. And as we all know that the constitution says anyone who has been declared the winner of the election will be sworn in even if they are pending issues in the courts. So Tinubu will be sworn in, protest will not stop it, no matter what happened that, rain, they, that day, rain, sun, fight, violence, Tinubu will be sworn in. But he said the only thing Tinubu will be facing in his administration is mismanagement. If Tinubu cannot manage and manage the law and also misinterpretation of the law, things will get harder under Tinubu's administration. So, Tinobu should try and look at this prophecy and work towards not making things harder for himself. Because the prophet has foresaw this. And it is definitely going to come to pass, as he said, because he said Nigerians should not overlook all his prophecies. That there's going to be mismanagement and misinterpretation of law. And this means that... Tinumbu will actually be sworn in and will continue his presidency, but that is misinterpretation of the law and that things will get other under Tinumbu's administration in all areas. We have come to the end of the news. So what do you think about this? Please share your view in the comment section. Thank you.